Hello and welcome to Northeast Pennsylvania, the home of Cheetah Chassis. Cheetah Chassis has been manufacturing container chassis right here in the USA for some of the largest shipping companies in the world. Please follow us now as we take a virtual tour of our chassis. I'd like to start at the front bolster. This particular front bolster on the Cheetah chassis is what we call a container gathering bolster. It has a 45 degree angle on the back side to help the crane operator set the container in the proper position. This particular bolster that you're looking at is made out of high tensile certified American steel bent and made here in the USA. We're going to start with the end caps that you see here. These are cast end caps. The purpose of the cast iron end caps is to be able to have this trailer in your yard and it will not damage other containers or other chassis because of the rounded edges. It will just bounce off. So I'd like to point out that standard on our chassis is a placement of a MEPS plug. And the MEPS plug gets attached to a gen set, which is located on this chassis. We have space in the second and third bay behind the landing gear for you to mount a gen set. This will keep your cord running inside the chassis and attached. Therefore, they will have no electrical cords outside the envelope of the chassis. This particular chassis has what we call roadside air and electric. This is an option. We can have it either the roadside or we can center mount the air and electrical for this trailer. This particular trailer does have the roadside and as you can see, it has 90 degree glad hands for the emergency and service. Also, you can take this glad hand off without the container or with the container on the chassis. Also true for the seven-way receptacle. You can remove this and there is enough cord with a loop contained right behind the rear bolster so that you can pull this plug out and replace it if damage should occur. Our slide pins are inch and a half in diameter and do have the required lock area uh, to haul on the railroad. Also note that this trailer is AAR certified for railroad use. You can lift the lock slide pin and pull it forward to open and then lock. In the kingpin area of our 40-foot lightweight gooseneck, we do have a cruciform kingpin. To the rear and to the front of this kingpin are our two stabilizing channels. If you note, we also have two-inch drain holes in the middle section and the front section to drain water. We also seal the inside all the way around of the pickup plate to prevent rust jacking. And as noted before, we do have a loop in our air and electrical cords so that you can pull the seven-way receptacle or the glad hand through and repair with the container on the chassis. Our 40-foot gooseneck lightweight chassis weighs 5,250 pounds. That's quite amazing because our gross vehicle weight rating on this chassis is 75,000 pounds, which means the chassis, the container, and the payload can weigh 75,000 pounds. That is without your tractor. We do have lighter weight options where this model, we can actually get down to 4,900 pounds. On our 40-foot gooseneck lightweight chassis, our mounting brackets for the landing gear will accept any type or any brand of landing gear. They are all interchangeable. But on this particular one, this is a Jost landing gear. It has a lifting load of 50,000 pounds and a static capacity of 160,000 pounds. It does have the 10 by 12 sand shoes and also it has angle iron bracing front and side. 
It does have a four inch by five pounds per foot brace across the middle. Our 40 foot gooseneck lightweight chassis does come with a very special beam. We manufacture this beam right here in Berwick, Pennsylvania with US milled certified steel. The flanges top and bottom are grade 100 and the flanges are 80,000 pound yield. As you can see, we have put holes strategically in our beam to lighten the chassis. On our 40 foot gooseneck lightweight, we do make provisions for you to install a genset. As you can see, the forward cross member is facing the front and the rear cross member is facing the rear. Therefore, there are no objects in place when you install a genset. As the genset fits between the main beams and slides up in and safely clips to the bottom flange. On our 40 foot lightweight gooseneck, we do use a Holland suspension with monoleaf springs. That's what you see here. It is on a 49 inch axle spacing. We also use five and three quarter inch round axles. These particular axles that you're looking at are parallel spindle axles. Therefore, we can take off the tires and put super singles on. This particular model, it does come with 295 75R 22.5 tires and aluminum wheels. These are changeable to super singles as this chassis comes standard with long studs. Therefore, you can put steel or aluminum wheels if need be. On our 40 foot gooseneck lightweight container chassis, uh, we do offer different types of suspension. We can use a hutch or a Hendrickson spring ride. Also, we can offer many different air rides with this particular unit. Moving to the rear bolster, this rear bolster is made out of high tensile, US milled certified steel. It is manufactured right here in our Berwick, Pennsylvania factory. This particular unit does have drop-in style twist locks. We can offer the cast iron cantilever type twist locks also with this model. But as you can see, we use the LED lights from truck light and we do have an eyebrow encasing the entire lights. Therefore, when you back up to a dock, you do not have to worry about smashing the lights. Our mud flaps are attached with 5 16 bolts and have a backer strip. Therefore, you do not have to worry about the mud flaps getting torn off. The center of our chassis, we do have two very large heavy duty struts. They are moved back two inches from the rear of the trailer. And that's so you do not need dock bumpers. These metal struts double as dock bumpers. We do have a four by four bumper tube at the rear of this chassis. And this will help if you're going to use dock locks at any dock, this particular trailer is engineered to work with dock locks. 